Our next guest is considered one of the most powerful men in the music industry. And over the course of his three decade long career, Woo. he's worked in radio, created spectacular award shows, and has been witness to several of the most important moments in black music history. President of Music and Programming and Specials at BET, Stephen Hill, welcome to the show. Stephen Thank you very Hill. much, Lola. Thanks for having me. I appreciate thanks it. Thanks for being here. Three some decades. Intro. That, sounded, that sounded long. <laughs> You've done everything. <laughs> yes. Three decades. I've never heard it put like that. <laughs> Make you feel a little aged there. I'm sorry. So three decades and all of a sudden, great. Right there. Great. Right, great, right there. Well, you just have done so much. There's a lot of wisdom in there. That's all. I you forgot to put comedian yeah, on the comedian. list. I know, He's right? Too. You're a funny man. Oh, oh you're God. very kind. I noticed, I noticed Miss USA's picture was up there. My picture's not up there. That's, <laughs> but I'll let that go. That's okay. not our fault. No, I'm not uh, worried about that. That's because you're doing That's so Shannon's many things. Fault. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, let's move on I'm then. Sorry. Okay. This year, the BET Awards is being billed as the BET Experience at LA yes. Live. Now, tell us, why is it being called that this year, the Experience? And it's a whole three days this it's time, right? It's a three day weekend. Uh, we've had uh, the BET Awards on Sundays of the last weekend in June for the last, I think, three or four years. And what we found is that people came to Los Angeles for the BET Awards anyhow, whether they had a ticket or not. Mm -hmm. You know, you ask some friends, like, are you going to the LA for the BET Awards? Yeah, you got a ticket? Nope. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go out there for the, for the kind of the ambiance and the atmosphere. And so what we decided to do is just make what was kind of, uh, what was organic, just make it official. And so make a three-day festival with food, with uh, entertainment, with en enlightening seminars, uh, and that's what we'll do for three days out in Los Angeles. Wow. And so Chris we get VIP tickets, right? Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's, that's <laughs> happening, yes. 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 Now, this year, Chris Tucker is hosting the event. I mean, what can we expect from him? He's always hilarious. Chris Tucker is always hilarious. You, he is, he, and he has been working on the road. He's in Australia right now, kind of working on the things he's going to do for the mm -hmm. BET Awards. But, uh, yep, Sunday, June 30th, 8 o'clock, you turn it on, Chris Tucker is going to turn it on. He's got the uh -oh. high-pitched voice. Uh -huh. You can expect, I'll give you a little bit, he, you expect a little, maybe a little musical number or oh, something okay. from him. Really? So, yeah, yeah. He does the best Michael Jackson. Doesn't person. he, though? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and he even talks, he, when, he, when he imitates Michael Jackson, he gets the little lisp that a lot of people mm. when they imitate Michael Jackson don't get, but he has the little lisp that he, Chris, you know, he, Chris. I'm not going to talk to him. <laughs> So what other highlights can we expect? Chris Tucker, yes. I hear so, Beyonce is going to be in the house, so too. So Beyonce is actually kicking off the BT experience on that Friday the 28th. Uh, she's had her tour over in Europe for the last few months mm -hmm. and has brought it in the first, very first inaugural show uh, that she's doing is going to be at uh, the BET experience at the Staples Center on the 28th. So, Stephen Hill, you're the man who obviously makes this happen. What do you say to Beyonce to convince her that she has to open the BET experience. First, I head to the sporting goods store. Uh-huh. Knee pads. <laughs> knee first pads. First of all. Okay. Knee pads first. Because begging. <laughs> begging. There's going to be some begging. No, no, no. The great thing is, 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 uh, is from Destiny's Child when they first came out mm -hmm. to when she became, you know, Beyonce, we've had a great relationship and, and, and partnership and friendship. And we've told her what we wanted to do with the BET experience, how we really wanted to make this kind of the biggest consumer-facing event we've ever done. Mm -hmm. uh, she was absolutely down to be part of it, and she was gracious enough to give us her very very first show on this uh, Mrs. Carter World Tour. That's a score. Yes, it is. I'm sure it's going to be magnificent because you're known for creating these amazing tributes like the one you did for Michael Jackson after his passing. Now, how do you come up with all these just creative ideas and how do you execute them? Well, we have a, we have a, we have a great working partner, uh, Jesse Collins from Jesse Collins Entertainment, okay. who worked with us when we worked with Cassette Productions, uh, is just wildly fantastic. He and his crew are amazingly creative. So together we collaborate and, and mm -hmm. throw ideas back and forth. We're on the phone literally 20, 25 times a day mm -hmm. going back and forth with ideas. And the great thing is artists understand that, that we are lovers of music. We're mm -hmm. lovers of music and great performances. And so they love to get with us when, we, when, we're, when we're putting these things together. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the Jacksons are going to be performing? So the Jacksons will be performing. Uh -huh. They're closing uh -huh. out as Beyonce opens the night on Thursday uh -huh. the 28th okay. after the BET Awards at the Nokia Theater at, uh, in, in LA Live. You go over to the Staples Center and you'll have R. Kelly opening the show. Okay. And then for the first time ever on the same stage on the same night, New Edition and the Jacksons are together. You are wow. Absolutely. Together. Absolutely. So the Jacksons will be closing it and as a longtime Jackson 5 fan, you know, I still have my first ticket to when I ever saw them July 17th, 1971 wow. at Cole Fieldhouse. Uh, this is a thrill for me personally. Tito? Tito will be there. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Wow. Tito, it's, Tito, it's Tito, Marlon, Jackie, and, and, and Jermaine. 
Wow. wow. Absolutely. So how did you pull that off? Because They're, they haven't been on stage together in a while. So they got back together last year and went on a small tour. Mm -hmm. uh, but when we put the idea to them say, to say, how about you, New Edition? Because New Edition obviously grew up in the shadow of the Jacksons Absolutely. and obviously emu emulated the Jacksons. Let's have fun. Let's have you on stage together at the same time. And not only that, let's have some special guests. Now, I can't tell you who the special guests Come on, are going to give be. Give us one. I cannot. Come I cannot. on, Stephen uh, Hill. Uh, Reby Jackson will be doing Centipede. Oh, that oh. would be, first of all, no, that would be. Not, that's not. <laughs> no, that's not true. What about some holograms? Any holograms I used performing? To snake that, to that, song. that is a snake, not the Centipede. That, that, that is uh -oh. very. Get it down. You gotta get on the ground. Di you different know? reptile. Uh, okay. So what about okay. holograms? I'll do it in the break. There will be no holograms uh, on this show. Come okay. on. Once Dre did a hologram with Tupac, it was like, well, you just did it, and you did it better than anybody can ever do it again. And you so don't repeat. I like we're that. trying not to repeat this. Okay. All right, no holograms. Okay. But Tito. But Tito. Tito will be there. <laughs> Tito, will be there. <laughs> Tito will be there playing guitar. Oh, God. Yes. Okay, let's shift gears. I want to mm. ask you a few serious questions. Mm. One of the things that I just have been observing in pop culture recently is a number of these sort of ratchet shows that appear on other networks. And I'm wondering if there's a double standard. Are there, sh are there things that a VH1 can get away with that a BET wouldn't be able to get away with? It seems that way. Mm -hmm. It seems that way. I think you, I don't mention any shows by name, but and I think I if you take either. some of those shows that people call their guilty pleasures, mm -hmm. right? They know the ratchetivity of the show, right? Ratchetivity. The ratchetivity of the show is on is on high. Yeah. It's admitted. This show's ratchet. I hate ratchet, but I'm watching that show. Right. And everybody should have a guilty pleasure. I'm fine. But I. But we also realize that we at BET could never have those type of shows, mm. or else. There'd be a, a, a coup, marches. protest. Yeah. Maybe try to overthrow the government. It would just, <laughs> it would just be, it would, it would just be chaos, pandemonium, anarchy mm -hmm. everywhere. And what what we take from that is that we appreciate that our audience expects something from us mm -hmm. that we're that we're actually able to provide. Mm -hmm. You know, if, you know, we'd we'd love to have the viewership that the Ratchet shows. Have and so we try to do that through um, shows like Being Mary Jane, which is the new drama that's coming up mm. with uh, with Gabrielle Union that's yeah. premiering uh, July second. I was at a screening mm. the other night and it looked so. How'd you like it? It was so good. Wasn't it? Wasn't yes. it? Gabrielle, like you've never seen her before. It's true. Right. And the game is doing really well for you all. The game's and doing fantastic. Real we have second husbands. Real husbands of Hollywood. So Real Husbands of Hollywood is our way to take the ratchetivity, right. stick it into something, and go, hey, this is a really fake show. We do right. all the things that those ratchet shows do, but. Um, you, it, we get to have fun with it, and it's a scripted show, so we get away with that. And, and it's Kevin hilarious. Hart's been fantastic. It's great. Yes. Kevin Hart, Nick Cannon, Boris Kojo, J.B. Smooth, Nelly, uh, Robin Thicke was on the first season. Mm -hmm. Is he and coming so, back? I heard a rumor he's not coming so back. So Robin Thicke was in the reunion show, yes. but the at the time we were t in, the, in, in, there were a lot of stories like, hey, we left the show and someone kicked yeah. him off. They said they were fighting backstage, <laughs> right. someone was being a Devo. Yeah, what's, what's so here's the deal? thing Robin Thicke, as you may know, has mm -hmm. the number one song, not only in this country, mm -hmm. but in about 20 other countries. Other wow. countries yeah, right now. I heard Blurred about lines. That. Blurred yeah. lines. Huge song. Yeah. Unfortunately, while we were taping the show, he was finishing up his music, which is part of it, Blurred Lines is part of it, and oh. about to promote his album. So he okay. couldn't do both things at the same time. Oh. Gotcha. And at the end of the day, Robin, you know, He's music, acting, first. music, right. acting, not do music. Right. So. Well, we've heard that all the other celebrity husbands are trying to get on the show. So give us the scoop on who's gonna be going to be seen in the new season. Uh, new so, people. so you get everybody back. You get JB right. back. You get Kevin back. Uh -huh. You get Boris back. Yeah. Yeah. Boris. I knew. By the way, that's why I pointed to you. I knew that there always is Boris. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Boris is taking uh -huh. his shirt off more. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yes. Yeah. So, so tight Luke, shot. Tight so shot on Lola. Lola. Tight, shot, tight <laughs> shot. Tight shot on Lola. I'll catch the drool. It's Perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. I got this. Um, and some special guests. I don't know Wanda why the camera's not on me. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda Sykes is on the is uh -huh. a special guest. Chris Rock is on the show this year. Um, Eva about? Pigford is on the uh -huh. I'm Eva is on the show this year. Yeah. Um, so there are a lot of special guests. I want to give okay. them all away. I gave you the big ones now. All right. It's great. And you, the you made me. You made me. I know. Right. Well, tell us who the special guest at the BET Experience is going to be. The BET Experience. No, I can't. No, that oh. I can't do. You have to watch. Uh, and you have to watch the BET Awards June 30th at 8 p.m. Don't, don't, don't get there at 801 because when you get to the water cooler the next day, you go, oh, did you see the BET Awards? I say, yeah, I got there at 801. Oh, my God. Oh, if you, you got there at 801, part. you missed. <laughs> you missed the crazy open when they flew and the oh. fire and the, the trap. Door and all the that? spring really? and 
Oh, if all that is happening in, one in the minute. first 60 seconds, then the show is going to be a must-see. Shannon, this is what I'm talking about. A must-see. This, this is what I'm talking about, exactly. <laughs> so I can't tell you're excited about it at all. I don't <laughs> you know, know. <laughs> I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I yeah. love music and I love shows. And being able to work on a show like this. How did you get like into this, the music industry? So, so I got into the music industry because uh, I, I was at Brown University. Yes. And uh, there was a there was a poster on a on a lamp post that said, "Hey, come try out for the for the radio station." Mm. And so I went over there, and they had this meeting. Okay, if you work for the radio station, you get free records and free tickets. I was like, "Huh? Right. That's all you needed to hear." <laughs> yeah. You mean everything that I already spent all of my disposable income on, <laughs> exactly. I get for free? Uh, yeah. <laughs> First of all, that meant more food for me. Second of all, but but second, I loved music, and so getting into the radio, I got into radio at Brown University, and then oh, nice. did radio, and then He's back. Educated. In, I, know, right? <laughs> I believe. Okay. Like okay, I see you. <laughs> yeah, I spent no time in class, and <laughs> all of the time, all of the time at the radio station. Let's be clear. But uh, but did that, and then did radio, and then I wor worked at MTV for five years, and I've been at BET for. And that's where we met. I was an intern at MTV, MTV at right. House you're of in. Style. That's right. Okay. And you were in the music department. I was indeed. There. That's right. And you're still making moves in music. Then I shouldn't say how long ago that was. Uh oh, we won't, I, we won't I was tell. Give you a year, how long five, ago that was? Five years five, ago. Yeah, when she five was years intern. ago. Five yes. years ago when I was an intern. Because <laughs> I've been, been, at I've been at BET for two. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, well, moving on. I've got to ask Shit, you about black. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I have to ask you about June being Black Music yeah. Month, and you guys have just been amazing in music. But what is the most significant impact that BET has had on Black music? You know, that's a great question. I'd like to think that. I mean, the, the BET Awards is in June for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be honest. Let's be clear. We love having an award show. I could ask you who won the award for best R&B male last year, and you probably couldn't tell me. No. But if I asked you, tell me one of your favorite performances you've seen on TV in a while, I'm going to bet it may have been on the BET Awards, and you can tell me about that performance, mm -hmm. right? It's about music. It's right. about the performances. It's about the audience supporting each other. I, the thing I love about the, the BET Awards is when you turn the camera on the audience, you see people standing up. You see people supporting mm -hmm. people on stage. It's, yeah. it's more than just a music industry event. It feels like a family event. Yeah, and that's what, we really, that's what we really strive for. And so, uh, so for, you know, to answer your question about Black Music Month, I think that the BET Awards is a present, is, is, is an honoring of the, of the Black Music Month. Um, and the number of new artists we've been able to support. Janelle Monet, mm -hmm. Nelly when he first came out, Miguel, you first saw Miguel exactly. on, on, on so BET, true. J. Cole, who's going to have a phenomenal uh, sales uh, figure this week on his second album. So, you know, I think our pride is in the show and breaking new artists. Who should be in our iPod right now? Who should we, we be listening to? And uh, who's in your iPod? <laughs> yeah. And who's in your iPod? So, okay, so which one do you want first? I, Let's what you see. Let's, what's in your iPod? Yeah, what's in your so iPod? So my iPod always has Prince, Radiohead, and the Jackson 5. That's, That's an interesting wow. thing. Always, always. always. Now, so, why uh, Prince, those I'm sorry, three? Prince, Radiohead, Jackson 5, Jay-Z, and Kanye West. Okay. Always. Okay, I get Top five. Okay. okay. Always. Um, uh, what you should, what should, you, should you be listening to now? Mm -hmm. uh, Kanye West. I, I'm an Jesus? Una, I'm, really? an unaf, I'm an unabashed Yeezus fan. I think oh. I love what he does. I thought it was a little does. complicated. I, mean, well, I went to the listening the other mm -hmm. night. I saw you there. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just sort of, I, I need to sit with the album. I need yeah. to sit with it. You should, but you won't be able to sit. You'll want to stand up. You may want to punch something <clears throat> at the end. It's very aggressive. It's, very it's aggressive. angry. But sonically, it's so next level. I just appreciate that, 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 that Kanye at all points in time pushes pushes the boundaries of what's acceptable. I agree with okay. you. Back to when he was putting together Blueprint for Jay, mm -hmm. I mean, you didn't hear those old soul samples slowed down I like didn't. that then. Mm -hmm. Kanye is always about pushing pushing the frontier and I so appreciate that. Well, so Kanye you? West in your in, in your mm -hmm. iPod right now, Daft Punk, oh, wow. I think you have to have Random One access of memories. our producers here, Cute David, fan. is going to be so happy to hear you say that. He's <laughs> obsessed with Daft yeah. Punk. And, and, I, and I understand that. It, okay. it, it, it's 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 retro futuristic music. Is, retro is, futuristic. It's retro music. futuristic. Like okay. yeah, you know, you You've know. got away with words. Well, <laughs> okay, well you're giving us the people we know about now, but who should be on our radar? Who's up and coming? Hi, I'm this group of Hyam, it's okay, right three now. sisters and one mister out of, um, <laughs> out of, I swear to God, I just heard, I heard them a little while ago, out of, um, where are they from? The Valley, the Valley in, in, outside of Los Angeles. Really? And okay. they're called Hyam? Hyam. Okay. Uh, the three women are in the front, bass, uh, guitar, lead guitar, and the, and the guys on drums. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rock kind of funk fusion of music that, uh, that I was just blown away by. I heard it for the first time and, 
you know, sometimes it takes two or three listens for something, okay. but this was a one listen. We'll definitely have to get him on the show then. Heim, right. H, -A -I H A I M. Okay. I think it is. Yeah. Well, Stephen Hill, thank you so much for yes. being here. We're done here. already? That's We're it. We're done already. But don't That's worry. It. We're going to see you at the BET experience, and we'll kick it there. Yes, the BET yes. Awards happening oh, June okay. 30th. Commercial. <laughs> on BET. Make sure you check that out. Thank you very don't much. Don't mind the shameless plug. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank Shannon, you so much. Lola, thank you very much. And we were, uh oh, here we go. While they, while they dance it off, I want to know what you're looking forward to to seeing most at the BET experience. Tweet us about it at Arise TV 360. <laughs>